I would like to acknowledge one of the greatest teachers of all time, a book, a book that actually was has been my Bible for the last 20 years. It was published in 1997 by Element. It's called God's Secret Formula by Dr. Peter Plichter, a German mystic, and he was also like a chemist and physicist. It's Deciphering the Riddle of the Universe and the Prime Number Code. And I'd like to just show you how he constructed this wheel of 24. And what we're going to do is that when we construct the pattern for the prime numbers, I want to show you a specific point where the prime numbers are squared. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, we start off with a wheel of 24, perfect circle. And we write the numbers, as you can see, I'm going to put one at the top there, the zenith, two, three. So it's called the wheel of 24 natural counting order there's a word for it we call it consecutive so once we've done the first ring of 24 consecutive numbers we we go another octave up and we jump where the one is i do the next ring of 24 so here's 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 i'm going to put 35 here for a reason because it's on a special axial point 35 36 so double 24 you know that 48 is going to go here we know that 48 goes on the next ring, and then we jump the next octave. So you can visualize here, um, if we had another circle, of another ring of 24, you can see that the next number here is 49. And then we do another ring of 24, and you, you end up here with 72. And the next number after 72, when we jump, is 73. So I'm, I'm alerting you to a special, to the first... There's going to be the f uh, array here. It's called the first ray of 24. Our lecture today is focusing on these numbers here. And instead of writing all the next rings of 24, they keep going for forever. Infinite rings of 24. The next, um, we, we would end up with 96 here, which gives us 97. And over here, we end up with 120. Because 120 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, lots of 24 is 127. The next critical or crucial number is one two one and this will go forever and dr peter plichter successfully realized that all prime numbers all prime numbers in the universe which is the key to all encryption in the financial world that protects your your numbers on your credit card all laid on certain four axes so i'm going to highlight here's number one we know that one and 23 are prime so i'm actually going to draw that into the center and opposite, 20, um, opposite that point here, we have um, 11 and 13. These are called twin primes. I'm, these are called twin primes. I might even connect them like that. So these are twin primes. And you, you know that 5 and 7 are prime. So we'll connect them to the center. And you also know another important prime number twin pair is... Uh, 17 and 19 and we'll connect them and you and when I do this this is a beautiful workshop I do with my students they love drawing what we call the prime number cross which is what the um, Templars wear and the Queen wears it on her robe and on her crown so this is a very, we know this information thanks to th this is why we're acknowledging Dr. Peter Plichter he gave us this code here so let's have a look at his first drawing um, so in, in this drawing here, you can see, um, whoops, we've got, so in this drawing here, we can see the first ring of 24. That's, that's just the starting point. But the, the drawing that I'm just showing you now where all the prime numbers lay is this one here. You can, um, this, this diagram activated and influenced a whole generation of mathematicians and scientists and free energy dudes. They're all around the planet. We're all talking about it. But we have to give acknowledgement to Dr. Peter Plichter because we're still discovering things. We're finding that every three rings of 24, when we do digital compression and reduce them all to single digits, those first three rings reveal 369, 369, 369. So this is highly guarded, highly encoded information in this knowledge here. And it's a subject that's been puzzling mathematicians for thousands of years, is there a pattern in prime? So B, Peter Plichter gets the acknowledgement for finding the patterns. And then, and then he discovered that when we take a prime number like five, I'm gonna, I'll highlight 
25. So, so five is a prime. Five is a prime number, but when we square it, square it, it's 25. I almost said scare it. When we take the number seven prime number and square seven, we get 49. And when we square number 11, the 11 squared is 121. And, and Dr. Peter Plichter noticed that the squaring of the prime numbers all laid in this first quadrant here. This is a major mathematical discovery that he published in his book. And many people have been influenced by the squaring of the prime numbers. Another thing of interest was that some of the prime numbers that lay, like if I was to extrapolate this line out here, this cross, it works out that, that on the next ring, we after 11, we know 11 is prime, but as we go around to 35, 35 is on that prime number cross arm. There's eight of these points, but 35 is not prime because we know that 35 has factors of five and seven. So it cannot be a prime number by definition. And, and so what Peter Plichter is known for is that he successfully gave them a name. They're called quasi-primes, kind of like semi-primes or ethereal primes or phantom primes. They're kind of primes. They fit on the prime number cross, but they're not actually real prime numbers. And this is the puzzle that has been, hasn't been solved for thousands of years, but a lot of people have put theories. So my, uh, one of my colleagues in America, his name is um, Dr. James McKenney. He wrote the book on calculating primes, right? And he's claiming on this DVD here that he successfully worked all the quasi-primes and he can therefore predict the next prime number in the universe, which is what the powers that be don't want us to know the highest prime numbers because all financial institutions are based on this encryption. So, so um, James McKenney shared this with a few colleagues in NASA and when they tried to announce this to the world that they had cracked the quasi-prime code, right, which many people have tried to do, um, two people, two of his colleagues were murdered not to get this information out. So I have a very rare library because I've got all of um, McKenney's books on prime number patterns and decoding and all his DVDs. And um, I'm, I'm very honoured to have received this, this information. Okay, and just so... So, Doctor, I could talk a lot more about his numbers. You have to get this book, must get this book. And in this book, he talks about how he got a patent on, um, he discovered an oil. He ex successfully extracted an, a synth synthetic oil from silicon, and that's been used for space travel. His list of inventions are amazing because, you know, he was a chemist. And he wrote about the law of threes. So, um, just to conclude, I wanted to show you his mathematical genius which is something that I had independently worked out, out, out as well, but he was the first one to publish it. If we take the, he, he called it the reciprocal geometry. So if we take the number three and to the fourth power, that three to the fourth power is three times three times three times three, which is 81. So if we divided the 81 in, into one, the answer is 0 0.0. If you do this on your calculator, you'll get 0 0.012 three, four, five, six, seven. But what happens is that the nine skips, the, the, we skip to nine, we don't actually write in the eight, eight, and it goes 1.79, and that repeats forever. And the reason why, to explain why there's a missing eight in this sequence of the reciprocal for 81, the answer on the calculator is 0 0.012345679, and that repeats. So that group of numbers just repeats forever. But if you look closely, this is how we understand how do we get the missing eight. If I was to go 0 0.01234567, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, which is back to how we started here with consecutive numbers. If I go consecutively to infinity, what happens is that these, this, this one goes to there and this one goes to the nine, it makes it zero. And, and what and it cancels out that eight. As we start carrying over the carryovers, we end up with this missing eight. And I just wanted to show you that his book on mathematical inquiry is of the highest order. And this stuff must be taught to children. This is a, a worksheet for our school called the 108 Academy. And we have a lot more to reveal.